HIV, pregnancy, and tobacco use. Can smoking tobacco make my HIV worse? Yes. Nicotine is known to harm the body's immune system. The immune system protects the body against infections and diseases. Having a weakened immune system increases the risk of developing many cancers, diseases, and infections. Since HIV also causes damage to the immune system, a pregnant woman with HIV who smokes tobacco is at even greater risk for infections and diseases. While HIV medications work to improve immune functioning, smoking tobacco can decrease the chance of treatment success. Increased transmission risk has been linked to the amount of HIV in the blood, the woman's viral load. Specifically, smoking has been associated with increased viral loads and poorer immune responses to HIV treatment. If a pregnant woman has high viral loads, the chance of HIV being passed to her baby is increased. Quitting or cutting back on tobacco use will help improve the woman's health and that of the baby. Does smoking tobacco hurt my baby? Yes, tobacco use during pregnancy is harmful for both a mother and her unborn child. For pregnant women living with HIV, the risk of passing HIV from mother to child is a main concern. If a pregnant woman's viral load is high, there is an increased chance that she can pass HIV to her baby. There is also a greater risk of damage to the placenta, preterm birth, and the baby being born with low birth weight. Each of these factors increases the chance the baby will be born with HIV. Unfortunately, many of the problems caused by tobacco use during pregnancy are also known to increase the risk of each of these factors occurring. Smoking tobacco increases the risk of HIV transmission up to three times in women not receiving HIV treatment. Becoming tobacco-free reduces the chances of problems for a woman's pregnancy and her unborn baby. For women who are pregnant or planning a pregnancy, cutting back on tobacco use or quitting altogether will help the woman and her baby.